Hello and welcome to another bike packing Q&A video. I've had loads of questions over the last few days about my winter bike packing gear. I recently went on a bike packing trip up to Arctic Norway in the winter and it was absolutely beautiful. And now loads of you have got in touch with me and asked me about what gloves I'm using, what camping gear I'm using, etc. So I'm going to run through all of that with you now. I'm not going to spend too long talking about the bike itself because I've already done a video on that. It came up live last week. So if you'd like to watch it, click the card in the top right hand corner of the screen or there'll be a link in the description. Just some very quick pointers about this bike. When I go winter bike packing, which I tend to do at least a couple of times every year in various conditions, I always use the mountain bike. And this is my new mountain bike for 2024. As a general rule, I'll run the fattest tires I possibly can at a slightly lower pressure. So when I'm riding on mud or snow, it gives me that extra grip. I always take a hot drink with me, as you can see there, and loads of food, way more than you think you'll need. When you're cycling in winter and bike packing, especially, you can burn loads more calories than you think you will. And finally, make sure you have loads of lights with you. Obviously the days are shorter in winter, you're gonna need those lights. You may find that the cold saps the battery life, so the more you have, the safer you'll be. When I go bikepacking in really deep winter, when it's snowy, freezing cold like it was in Arctic Norway, this bag here is my secret weapon. This is the Sea to Summit Big River 65 litre dry bag. I stick all of my essential camping gear in here to keep it dry because it's completely waterproof. It will fit absolutely everything I need from the tent to the sleeping bag, all of my warm clothes. That way I guarantee I'm not gonna get wet and miserable. Let's have a look what's in the bag. This is the North Face Inferno Arctic sleeping bag. It's suitable to minus 40 degrees centigrade, so it's ideal for winter camping. I also use a sleeping bag liner. This is the Sea to Summit Reactor Thermalite Fleece Liner. It adds an extra bit of comfort. You can use it as a sleeping bag in the summer, but it's great for winter camping. As in all seasons, I use my Thermarest Neo Air sleeping mat. I always use my Nemo Hornet tent. It's not a winter tent. I would like a winter tent, so if you've got any suggestions for four season camping, please stick them in the comments. I always carry this trusty head torch, and if I don't have that one, I have this Suptig GoPro light that I attach to my helmet. I also carry my Alp Kit Hunker Bivy just in case I need extra insulation or there's a problem with the tent. I love this Sea to Summit Aeros pillow, it's so comfortable. Moving on to the cycling clothes then, having a look at the jacket. I use an Outkit Definition waterproof and windproof coat. It's designed as the ultimate Scottish winter jacket, so it's ideal for winter bikepacking. It's also quite long, so it stops you from getting soaked by the rear wheel. For my legs, I use an old pair of Gore fleece lined tights. And for gloves, I use Outkit Vulcan cycling gloves, really warm. I wrap my cycling shoes in these Alpkit Epic overshoes. They've got this hard wearing bit at the end to stop them getting scuffed up. I always carry plenty of fleecy base layers like this Under Armour one. Over that I use a merino wool jersey. On top of that I have an Endura long sleeve jacket. Anything fleece lined is ideal. And to protect my face from the cold I have a buff woolen face cover. Onto the camping clothing, I have these North Face Mules, which are my camping shoes. Really, really warm. When I'm in the tent, I wear these Alpkit Refugio slippers. They haven't got anything on the bottom, so you can't wear them outside, but they're super toasty. Speaking of warm feet, I love these smart wool hiking socks. As well as base layers, I wear a thin fleece like this North Face one. And finally wrap up in this Alpkit Phantom jacket. It's like wearing a sleeping bag. On top of my head, I have this Outkit bobble hat. It looks a bit daft, but it's nice and warm. For cooking, I take my trusty Stanley cooking pot with cups, and it sits on top of this MSR pocket rocket stove, which is super easy to get on and off. I always make sure I have plenty of Yorkshire tea that I can put in the flask to keep myself warm. For food, I carry things like these noodles. They're lightweight and really easy to give yourself something warm. My go-to battery is the Anker 20,000 milliamp battery. I've started taking this Alpkit stool with me. It looks really flimsy, but it's surprisingly strong and it stops you from getting a wet bum when you're camping. I also pack a couple of fire lighters for my Lixada wood stove to get it going. That's pretty much all my winter bikepacking gear. Let me know if there's anything else that you think I should be taking on my adventures in the comments below. Any questions as well, stick them in there. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.